Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use Arc Arc PDN. Now Arc PDN is a free content distribution network and it helps you monetize your traffic without ads. So your your site even run faster without showing any ads and you get paid. You can see over here they say add act to your site. Use a share bandwidth, you rent it, and you get paid the process. The site gets accelerated in the process as well. So it's a win win for both of you. Now, let's see. How do we get started? I've already done on my WordPress blog, so I'm going to show you a brief example. For me, I'm going to sign in. Although you can register for your website, it doesn't take anything. If I ask for free, just in your email and this and that. So you can just fill in that. I go to sign in. And my you're already here. If you're not having an account, you can create an account here. Okay. And you fill in this part. And you're good to go. So let me sign in and let's get started. Okay, and we are logged in. So now we are logged in. Let's see what we have. This is our dashboard. Here are the sites we have added to it. This is our CDN. You can see what we've used and what it has optimized for us. In our earnings, so the more traffic you have, if you have a very good traffic, you would earn more. I just put it up on a test blog, and I'm seeing it already begin to count. So, what you do is first of all, you come over here, dashboard. Hmm. Add new site. So I want to add one of my my blogger blog on a blog post. Let's see. Now the issue I'm going to have with blog post is this: they don't have um how I put it. This is where you can upload files. To. So one of the easiest ways is just to upload your JavaScript file to your um, hosting the roots of your website so they don't have that I'm going to have to do this we direct it to one of my blogs and hope it works so let's try I already have on this one so I'm going to find a way to just get the link let me click from here first And go to installation. On that installation, let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And it only works with HTTPS. It doesn't like HTTP. And you can see it. One of the things they put there as a requirement. So what I need to do is find. Let's look for a link. Not a bit lazy. Looking for the link to where it's requesting that on my site. Let's see, let's see. Where well, is that so hard to find? Uh -huh, this is what I was looking for. Now, this is it. So, this one is already on my blog. If I click here, you see it takes me to my blog, and this is the JavaScript I need. I can't upload this to Google. Um, sorry, to blogger. So what I just need, I need to copy that link. But I would, I'm trying now to redirect every request that comes to that blogger domain. To go to this one, I'll copy the link and hope it works. Now I'm using cloud today, so it's easier because the redirect on. Wow, something is weird. I was trying to. 
Um, the minority thing is good to go. Well, anyway, uh huh. I would have. It's not yet set up. Thank God. So let's go. Um, overview. So I'm going to go to the site that has this domain. And I'm going to create what we call page groups. Create a new page group. And it's going to ask me for a URL. So what I want to do is say any I put the asterisk. If you're not used to this on Cloudflare, this is how you do it. Bye bye last. I'm saying uh put a dot here. Any subdomain that acts for this. The asterisk means anything that comes before that dot. Bye bye last dot. Okay. Forward slash. What was the other one? Hold up. Um. I think I need a forward. Let me type it. Uh, you forwarding URL. So yes. I make it permanent. So I also do this. Paste it. This is where I want it to go to. I needed this part. So any part that is sorry, I think this screen is a bit small. Let me make it bigger. Yeah. So better now. Now we can see what we're doing. So then any subdomain under this one that asks for this file should be sent to this other one on a permanent basis. So let's say save and deploy. So I hope this works. Now it's active. As you can see this part goes to let's open it on a new tab. And it, it points to this other um domain with the file, but this one it does not have. So if you try it, it works. It works. So you see from tk to tabilize.com.ng. So now we are sure that it works. So we can go back to ac.io and Click here. So you go back to installation and good, it works. So it thinks the file is on my blogger domain, but it's not. But as far as I can find that file, it's good to go. So email me if it takes a problem. So to keep checking if the file is there, I'm just assured it will come back. So that's how you do it for blogger. You simply do the forwarding URL for that particular link. So it's going to look for this file on your blogger domain and you don't have that. It's okay. You can forward it over to one that has it. Now the issue with this is this blogger won't work with this on its own. If I go to my blogger, you see the direction it has is only for internal files. You can't direct external links so if you scroll down here and come all the way down 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 here you will see the direction I think so Errors and redirect. So if you go to custom redirect and say you want to add a redirection, you can see this slash here means within the domain. Not just um redirect something, that should be within my domain. So I can direct to something else outside. So 
I can't use Blogger. That's why I have to use Cloudflare. And since I have a custom domain already, you see, this is my custom domain, and it's not the same with Shabbyliar.com.ng. I have to forward it over there to make Ark believe I have the file on this server. And you can see it works. If you have any questions, comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.